Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Um, I'm Loverly Liz. And I'm Darren Dan. And we're going to basically ace this game. It's really easy and really fun, though. Um, so Danny, Darren Dan, tell us the history of this game. I was given this game as a present for my birthday, I think. Oops. And I wasn't really excited about getting it. My grandma gave it to me. And it was one of the first games I'd ever gotten for Game Boy Advanced. And so I, I didn't really want to play it that much, but I played it anyway. And it came it turned out to be really fun, and I love this game. So, yeah, we're basically going to show you how to do everything in this game. Yep. Well, he's going to be playing, not me. Level 1. But hopefully... Um, this is just the tutorial, so it's really easily. So I'm just going to skip over these enemies. Yeah, because really like, no this, this stuff pop up on the screen and tell you what to do or not. No, actually it doesn't, luckily. It gets really boring when that happens again. It's just, you can figure everything out in this game. It's, it's just two buttons, seriously. Yeah. But I've never played a Kirby game. The only one I've played, I think, was a pinball one. I, I think there was a pinball game. I don't really remember. But Secret if room wrong, number one. Oh, right. crap. You fell? Oh. <laughs> it's hard not to fall, but you can tell there's a little waterfall there. Okay, well, That's that the was, secret. That was an art hard one. Get there in a second. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> You gotta make sure that you're afloat. Yeah, floating. Otherwise, you can't get it. Oh, it's so cute. Wait for you to die. It's so cute. There you go. But yeah, so Alien Kirby, UFO Kirby. He's my favorite that's because just he's so, so awesome. Funny. Like, it's it, really hard to get him though in this game. It cracks me off. So how long do you think this game will take you to play? I don't know. We'll see. Well, like I don't know. This is like on average how long. It's a pretty long game. It's really easy to do, but it's long. Yeah. It's just one of those games. There's, there's not many pu puzzles or anything. Things. Yeah, just a there's lot just of There's just a variety of enemies and puzzles in this. Uh -huh. Just your skills in this game. At the end of every level, you press A and try and get to oh, the top, which I did. Yeah. And this is what happens when you get to the top. Yeah, otherwise, it just gives you points, which the points aren't really useful in this I mean, game. Unless just... you're competing with somebody, I mean. Yeah. Seriously. What's the big deal? But yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Like, I was playing this earlier today because Darren Dan was like, You have to play this game. Because I've been like, Hey, Dan, you have to play this list of games. And I keep on giving him all these different games. And he's like, Oh my gosh, this is too overwhelming. And, um. Mini boss number one. It she, looks like a she like failed at this. Okay, no, I didn't. Know, I wasn't familiar with the buggies yet. Okay. Still, it's really easy. Level. Well, no, I just wasn't familiar because we're using the GameCube controller. Yeah. And we I couldn't figure out what select was for a while. Yeah, it was like Z or something. No, select is Y or X. Oh, okay, sorry, I, anyway, I got confused. You, you can also suck up the mini bosses, and this is what happens when you get this one. Cool stuff. You just get an ability like you do with any other thing. But, what was I talking about? <laughs> what happens a lot? Something about me telling you to play this. Oh, yeah. Because I keep on bothering Dan. Basically, Dan, he, he plays games when he's bored. But I'm making him a gamer, because I'm just cool like that. Very evil. It's my worst name. But, oh, we're playing the Nightmare in Dreamland. Ha! That's not funny. But it is. The Nightmare is the best, because it's the funnest part of this game. That's a word. Another secret room. Yeah, like you could barely see that little thing in, like, in that boulder, but that's so funny. You just gotta look for black things. I don't know if I found all these secrets in this room. I hope I have. Because, or I mean, in this game, but. No, well, you've have. got 100% all. Yeah, but but certain secrets, like, if they're just enemies that you can suck up or if they're one ups, those don't count in the 100%. Well, I don't think that's a big deal. I mean. Like, uh, there are, I believe, eight worlds in this game. And we're on World 1 still, but level 3. So it's going by pretty fast. Yeah. But it's fun. But... It's cute. I like it. Here, I love this. This is Burning Kirby. It reminds me of... Takashi from Princess Toys. Because he yells, BURNING! Or SCORCHING! Every time he, like... Swings the racket because he has like a different personality when he has the racket in his hand. And I've never read Prince of Tennis, but it sounds really so stupid. funny. You have to borrow from Johnson. It's such a good series, but 
It's just, just Taka is really funny, because he just has a totally different personality. He's like the nicest person ever, but when he gets that rag in his hand, oh my god. Another penny. He's crazy. Oh, I think we're tennis. Penny. Oh, I always hated this part because it's really hard to, to beat these two guys. I don't know. Oh, it's easy with Burning Kirby, cool. but they shoot fireballs at you, which is kind of hard to dodge sometimes. Well, I can see. It's probably fast. Yay! 